Hello everyone, this is Jagai Rajat from Rain Studios. So, we are going to continue our series on cloud and in this today's video, we are going to learn about how you can deploy your applications to the cloud. So, you would get a hands-on experience in this particular lab session. So, today we are going to deploy a application we have developed in one of my tutorial videos about writing a small Node.js based application. So the way you run this program is node and then server.js. In case you want to learn more about how you can write your own server like this, maybe you want to check out this particular lab session about node.js or if you are interested in learning more about node.js, HTML, CSS, in that case also you would like to check this particular video series out. So now we have run a development server on this particular machine okay so if you can reload this then you can see that our application is running on this particular development machine so this is the application or the portfolio website which we are going to deploy on the cloud now you must be wondering what kind of cloud we are going to use to deploy this application we are going to use Google's App Engine. Now it's a service or a cloud application infrastructure provided by Google and I have used this service in past and I think that it is a nice cloud which we can use to demonstrate to deploy our Node.js based application. So first of all we have to create a new application in Google's console. So for that we are going to press this button in case you are wondering the URL to this particular page and it is this. So we are going to go to the console and then in the console we are going to create a new application hit this create button all right so we have configured our node.js cloud demo application and it is taking some time once the application is ready on google's infrastructure we can switch to that application so let's wait for that I think the application is ready and now we can switch to this particular application to deploy the application to this particular new app we have created on app engine we have to install G cloud G cloud is a Google cloud SDK provided by Google which you can use to deploy your applications to app engine this is the command which we can use to install Google cloud copy this paste it and it will take some time it is going to ask for some configuration settings just press enter leave the default setting as they are okay now we have to run source bash rc where the google cloud has done the modification so your shell can actually find the g cloud command so run this command and type which g cloud now you can see the location of the installation of this gcloud command now you can run this gcloud command okay the command is working fine now since our application is a node.js based application we have to look into the documentation of how we can host a node.js based application on app engine to do that you have to check out this particular document provided by google itself so to do that we first have to create a new file with the name app.yaml or yaml so we are going to do that in our project folder create a new file app.yaml okay and in that particular file we have to write these two commands or settings whatever you call them runtime node.js and environment flex now you don't have to worry too much about these two particular settings because these are the settings uh, which actually tells Google Cloud like which kind of application you are trying to host. Now since this is a pass and as we have discussed in my last video that in pass you don't have to care about how the infrastructure is supposed to work. It is up to the cloud provider. So the cloud provider has provided us with these two settings in order to run the node.js based application so save this file before deploying the application make sure you have this particular start command in your package.json so this should be your package.json and this particular command should be there because 
our node.js setup actually requires you to have this start command in your package.json as specified by this particular doc okay maybe you want to uh, read that as well okay otherwise if the command is not there the app angel will try to find this particular command which actually specified what command actually should run in order to run your application and when it does not find it it is going to give you this particular error to avoid that make sure the start command is there in our case the file name is server.js so the command will be node space server.js earlier we were using this command directly to run our server now we have put that command into this script section of our package.json and to run this command write npm start so this will run this particular command which we were running directly okay and your server is still up then we are going to run this particular gcloud app deploy command first of all we have to do the sign in now it is going to ask for the authentication which i am going to give it just press on this allow button and just close this particular window now run this gcloud app deploy command again it is again complaining about something required is not correctly set to do that we can do something like gcloud init press 1 to reinitialize everything and this will set up the gcloud properly here is our application okay so press 5 now this will ensure that our gcloud app deploy command is actually pointing to the right project i did not uh, do this step prior to running gcloud app deploy command so as to show you that these kind of step like the authentication step and this particular setup step is necessary before running those gcloud app deploy command in the documentation it was skipped but it is necessary in order to deploy your application to the cloud now i think we are ready let me clear this console and now i think we are good to go gcloud app deploy all right and i think this time it will work now we have to choose the reason where our application will be deployed so this will result into a lower latency setting or a higher latency setting based on which reason you actually select and from which user actually you are accessing the application so i am going to just opt for asia south now the application is being deployed to the cloud to this particular node.js cloud demo app we have created earlier in this video now i think that you can actually relate to whatever we have learned in my previous videos about pass and how pass actually works and what kind of settings you actually have to deal with now press yes it is going to take some time to deploy okay so our application is deployed now let's try to visit our application using this browse command it is provided right here this will launch the browser and we are taken directly to our deployed application it says bad gateway so let me just try to see like what actually went wrong and you can also see like how can you actually debug these sort of issues when cloud issues are concerned bad gateway let me see okay let me see okay the server should listen on 8080 port and our server is listening on 3000 port and i think i have ignored this line right here let me just try to fix that and redeploy the application so it will take you several hit and tries before you can actually like learn how to deploy your applications to the cloud properly and it is not a big issue when you are learning something it will actually go haywire from time to time and that is how you actually learn and that is how you actually become an expert in your field when you have seen 
all or most of the error which can come or which you can encounter while deploying something that is how you actually become perfect in your art so let's redeploy and it is again going to take some time so our application is ready let's browse it again okay so now everything works every setting is correct and our application is hosted on this particular url okay so that is how you deploy a node.js based application on google app engine and i think with this hands-on session you have learned about how paas clouds actually work how you can deploy your application to a cloud like app engine and what are the sort of settings you have to do before creating or deploying a cloud based application in case you have more doubts about this particular lab session make sure to leave a comment on this particular video and i'll see you in my next video make sure you subscribe to this channel in case you are interested in learning more about clouds this is your guy rajas saxena signing off take care bye bye